Hi, Abdul Aziz. Uh, thank you for giving us this time to talk about um, Sandy. I know that uh, you have a lot to say, and I'm just going to ask a few questions. Feel free to be, you know, for coming and just pretty explanatory as we want to really just get dive into your vision for Sabi and what your plan is for the next few years. Is that good? Sure, sure. Sounds good. Okay. So, can you tell us uh, what is Sabi? Tell me, what is Sabi? Is it an acronym? Is it just a word? What does it mean? Why did you pick that name? Yeah, mm-hmm. Give us a bit of an intro into what Sabi is. Sure. Um, so, Sabi is an um, Amharic word. Uh, that's um, the language we mainly speak here in Ethiopia, and it's an Amharic word which uh, means attractive. Uh, so, we, we chose that name uh, because we set out to provide attractive services uh, and also uh, bring attractive opportunities to, to uh, the youth in, in Ethiopia and uh, Africa in general. So, we uh, went with, with that name and uh, we also like that it has uh, some uh, meaning in Amharic so that it ha- we can have some cultural background. So, uh, that's, that's sad. So, you gave me a background into the name. What essentially, what solution is planning to provide to the job market uh, in Ethiopia? Mm-hmm. Uh, so, Sabi is basically a platform that provides uh, tech talent sourced from Ethiopia and African countries to, to startups uh, in Ethiopia, Africa, and all over the world. Uh, so we basically provide affordable uh, talent uh, and, and staffing solutions to startups. Uh, so uh, that's what uh, Sabi sets out to, to do and is currently uh, trying to do. Okay, so I know Sabi fair in 2021. Uh, I just wanted to know scientific because of how it started, um, what was the journey before the launch and the first few months of you know, Sabi's um, launch. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we, we started Sabi uh, uh, at the end of 2021. So uh, at the time, um, me and my co-founders were working in different startups that were based uh, in Europe, some of us in the US. Uh, so uh, we were working as freelancers, contractors, and some of us were, were uh, full-time employees as well. Uh, so while working on in, in those startups, we started noticing the, the uh, gap in, in providing affordable talent to the startups. Most of the startups we worked with uh, were early stage, so they had uh, limited capital to spend on, on hiring. And we started noticing that uh, there is a really gap in, in bringing affordable talent to, to those uh, startups. Uh, so uh, we set out to solve that and uh, also while trying to solve that we were uh, able to notice the, the gap in the market between uh, the what we call this, the, the PPO uh, countries like India uh, and Pakistan. There, there is a lot of difference uh, in what talents uh, get paid between these uh, countries and African countries. So we also tried to, to improve the quality of work that, that uh, uh, we provide to talents in, in African countries. Uh, specifically, we started out with Ethiopia. And uh, so th- those two things uh, pushed us to, to start Sabi. Uh, we started Sabi, like I said, in, in late 2021. Uh, we tried different models. We, we had a marketplace model at some point. Uh, we, we work with different clients based on based in Ethiopia and uh, in the US as well. So we tried different things and uh, tried to, to understand the market more and what, what it demands. Uh, after that, we landed uh, on, on our current model, which is providing the staffing solutions to startups um, about six, seven months ago. And uh, we've been working on that uh, since then. Okay, so I know that you mentioned um, you tried out using the marketplace model. Right? Why did why do you think that marketplace model did you, why did it work? Uh, sure. So uh, the marketplace model uh, actually was was uh, 
trying to achieve uh, contractual works and freelance works to, to, to startups, but mostly startups were looking for uh, uh, employees that they could hire with an hourly uh, basis, um, give them contracts and things like that. And they were not uh, really open to this, to this marketplace model. Instead, they, they were always looking uh, to, to hire them, to hire the talents uh, directly through us. So uh, that, that really gave them the comfort they wanted. Uh, the, the, they had guarantee that we could replace talents if, if they were not fit for them. So uh, they really felt comfortable with, with this uh, new model. So we ended up changing our yes. model and uh, going with this second solution. So it means that you guys now had to develop like a recruitment type platform where you, you had the honest of them to you to also train these people that you were going to be giving out to, to the startup. Yes, yes. So uh, we, we ended up waiting uh, uh, and, and uh, adding several talents into our talent pool. We partnered with, with uh, training boot camps to source our talents and uh, we wait and accredite our, our talents before uh, providing them to, to the uh, startups. And uh, the startups really responded well with, with this model. Okay, uh, sounds great. Uh, so, so far, how many um, talents have you been able to train so far? Uh, so we, we, we have about uh, 400 talents in our talent pool. Um, we, we were able to, to uh, get this, this amount of talent by partnering with uh, different uh, coding bootcamps, uh, headhunting some of them. Uh, so we, we try to have uh, talents across all skill levels in our talent pool. This allows us to, to provide a wide variety of options to our clients, which, which enables them to find the right fit for, for uh, their team. So uh, we, we are uh, almost 400 talents in our talent pool right now. Uh, and we are also launching an exclusive talent network uh, that's going to be uh, composed of more senior and uh, ta more, more skilled talents that, uh, so, uh, so that it will help uh, startups with higher skill level demands to find those kinds of talent easily. So that's, that's our talent pool right now. So this exclusive talent pool, how do people get into it? What kind of talent are you looking for? Which, which kind of skill are you hoping to find? Uh, yeah, so we are looking for uh, all development skills uh, right now. Uh, it could be front-end development, full-stack developers, uh, mobile app developers. We are looking for, for all, all uh, categories. Uh, but we are manually selecting the, the most promising talents we have on our talent pool and sending them out uh, invitations. Uh, so, uh, like I said, this is going to be exclusive and uh, more, more, uh, a more, you could say, elite, uh, uh, elite talent pool. So, we are handpicking every talent ourselves. Okay, good. Sounds good. Um, I wanted to know. You say you have 400 people in your talent pool. Are this the demography? Is it you got the token um, talent pool, just general uh, African talent from different places in Africa? Mm -hmm. So our talent pool currently is majorly, uh, majorly Ethiopian and Ethiopian based. Uh, we have a uh, few talents from Kenya, Rwanda, uh, and uh, uh, we have some uh, in different African countries, but it's mostly currently in Ethiopia. We have plans to, to uh, expand and do, do more more groundwork in Kenya as well. Uh, but currently, our talent pool is mainly comprised of uh, talents in Ethiopia. Okay, very interesting to know how you've been able to. I mean, marketing wise, how you've been able to reach other uh, countries, or is it just from word of mouth? Uh, yeah, I, I, I would say it's word of mouth. We uh, we did uh, an intensive marketing on uh, social media uh, platforms like LinkedIn. Uh, so that that really gave us some uh, some you know people were seeing our, our, our marketing campaigns there. So I think those and word of mouth were, were uh, really helpful in onboarding the talents. 
Okay, so that's for the talent. How about um, the companies that get to work with? Do you reach out to them and tell them? Or they also just see it online and then sign up? Uh, some of them uh, see our online companies and just sign up. Uh, but, but mostly we do direct sales. Uh, so direct sales is our, our main channel of uh, acquiring clients. So um, both in Ethiopia and uh, also our clients in the US, we mainly found them uh, using direct sales. Uh, and some, even some of our, our clients uh, where, where uh, our private, we, we had connections to them uh, previously, so it was easy easy to onboard them. Uh, so those are the way we get clients right now. Okay, so I'm very interested by your background. And I know you don't have, do you have a background in marketing or um, equipment that is enabling you to you know, push as much as you can or you have people on board that handle this part? Uh, yeah, so uh, our, our, our team is mostly uh, techn- founded by technical founders. Uh, so, for example, I'm, I have uh, a background in software engineering. I've been uh, working as a developer for almost, I think, three years now. Um, so, uh, we are just technical founders. But uh, d- during my, my time working with, uh, with startups, I was able to, to be part of the recruitment process and onboarding process. So that allowed me to see the the, uh, the market and also the processes in the HR and the recruitment. So uh, we took the, the, the lessons from those experiences and also tried to do our research, uh, take online courses and uh, in, in this uh, in this market. So uh, that that really helped us uh, understand what what we are doing. Okay, uh, sounds great. Uh... So, having heard all you said about what the is about and the demography past the rate and how should lines be planned to take your services um, in the nearest future, what do you think makes your product or your service or you know, the solution you're offering different in this you know, market where there's a lot of recruitment companies or you know, recruitment solutions that hope to pull everybody in Africa together and offer them jobs? You know, I just make literally just make the world a lot place through the recommend platform. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the main thing we are uh, currently our main USB is uh, affordability. Uh, so our, our clients are always looking for more affordable options, and we are trying to provide that by matching uh, to the startups to their uh, to their talent solution. Uh, and we do that by, by working with underserved markets. So, for example, Ethiopia, as uh, when you see the talent and the, the opportunities here, uh, there's, it's really an underserved market. So, uh, we, we always try to look into underserved markets and uh, try to find opportunities there. Uh, so, uh, by doing that, we, can, we, we think we can make a bigger impact in, in this kind of countries and also uh, provide uh, a really unique solution that that helps us stand out from our competitors.